Hi everyone, Chris Siebenar here with Vital MX giving a test review on the Dr. DNS4 system for the 2020 Kawasaki KX250. The system overall is an every man system, um, kind of what Dr. D is himself, you know, it's the every guy's racer, um, trail rider, enduro type of system. Uh, it's just shy of $640. It's made stainless steel, header, uh, mid pipe, uh, and an aluminum uh, muffler. The system overall, it, it's not a screamer system. It doesn't just rev out to the moon or, or, or help that at all. But for 2020, the Kawasaki, their goal was to give the bike a bunch more top end, which they did really well. Unfortunately, when doing that, they sacrificed a lot of low to mid range on the bike. And this system really helped to get it back without adversely affecting the top end performance of the bike. So I've had quite a few days testing this at multiple tracks. Uh, today here, uh, we're at Fox Raceway. A lot of big jumps out of corners, seat bouncing a lot of jumps. Uh, I've been to Kahia as well as Glen Helen. Both tracks have their own challenges to you know, their terrain. Glen Helen has massive hills out of corners, deep sand. Kahia, a lot of fast flowing stuff as well as a lot of elevation. And every track, the, the same thing shined true where the exhaust really gave a boost to the mid range of the bike. Dipped slightly into the low, kind of extended slightly into the top end, um, but where it really helped was right coming out of the corner. Uh, it helped get into that top end that, that Kawasaki gave it uh, this year. In stock form, the bike fell really flat, you know, out of corners. You, you just had to wring the piss out of the bike nonstop, which hurt on some tracks that had a lot of hills out of the corners. Glen Helen, Kahia to be specific. There are times where both of those tracks, with the stock system, you'd come out and you're just struggling to still build and maintain power as you get to the top. Um, so it helped charge through the mid-range, build a lot of power there, pull into the, the top end. Um, which just helped when you clicked into the next gear, um, you're still in the meat of the power. You were, were no longer dipping below what, what the bike had. Uh, again, we've had quite a few hours, multiple days on it. There's not a ding, a scratch, anything in it. Um, here at Paulo, there's a lot of rocks on the track uh, and you really can't tell there's any wear. Uh, again, it's a stainless steel header, so you know it's not the exotic titanium stuff, um, which does also tend to dent and ding quite a bit. You know, but overall, I'm really happy with the system, really happy what it did. This is my first time actually running a Dr. D, you know, so I'm really pleased, especially with this bike, which already had a bunch of top end. Um, now we just kind of uh, built some mid-range on top of that, so that was really cool. The best person for this type of exhaust would be, uh, you know, beginner riders would love it, intermediate riders would love it, uh, pro guys if you're going to be running on more tighter tracks, you know, woods racers, enduro guys, all stuff like that would really enjoy this system um, that kind of helps you give a little bit more meat back to the bike it's 640 dollars it comes with a spark rester uh, it also comes with a little sticker to put on it a uh, u.s forestry approved sticker so if you're going off-roading you know into the in the hills in the forest where you spark resters are required you know you'll at least have a sticker to help help rangers stay off your back a little bit all right so i hope you guys enjoy the video hope you enjoy the review check out vitalmex.com for more reviews more videos uh, and just more content to keep you going.